Hello there, welcome to Creepy Encounters. In today's video. Why don't I walk alone at night? The time my own father left me alone. When I was five I would walk to the school bus stop every morning. One morning two men in a car drive up to me asking have you seen our dog? Obviously they didn't have a dog, but me being an idiot I say well what's the breed? Husky. Oh I haven't. Why don't you come with us to find the puppy? I was about to get in the car. The guy had a hand on my arm to help me and when I saw my bus, which came super early, I told them I had to go to the bus and ran to the bus before it left. About a week later two young girls were found in a field, TW sexual assault, raped, and beaten with a large item, one dead but the other survived telling the cops she was asked to find a husky. To this day I think if the bus didn't come as earlier as it did I'd be dead, or worse. I don't know if this story belongs in this subreddit but here it goes. This is a short story and it's not even that scary compared to others, but it is something that has continued to bother me until this very day. Why? Because I don't even remember the entirety of it all. And no one has ever told me the truth. However, I know it happened because I can distinctly remember certain details that haven't changed over the years. I'm an adult now but this happened when I was about 3 or 4, which is why I have such a hard time trying to remember the whole situation that occurred that day. Before I get started, I think I should go into some background details. My mom and dad didn't have a healthy relationship, before and after I was born. My dad was, and still is, a very insecure person. While my mom was a very social and popular person amongst her friend group. It didn't help that most of her friends were guys whom she had grown up with along with her cousins and brother. I also consider her to be a very beautiful woman and so do many others. She looks much younger for her age and has very attractive features such as dark hair and pale skin with small facial structures. Now I'm just gonna say that despite my dad's insecurities and suspicions, my mom never once cheated on him. She liked to talk to these guy friends only because they were just that, they were her friends and nothing more. But that never stopped my dad from constantly accusing her of cheating on him. He would abuse her, at first it was obvious, then he got better at hiding it. My mom has told me many horror stories about the time she spent with him, events that not even her own family knows about. From the time he bite her shoulder, to the time he nearly suffocated her to death using a pillow, the mascara mark is still there even after 25 years I've seen it, to the time where he held me over the balcony when I was in my baby carrier as a means to get her to do what he wanted. While I don't remember all of these instances, there are two events that stick out in my memories concerning my father. Which is why I believe my mom and her family whenever they talk badly about him. The first one was when my mom tried to escape from the apartment she lived in with me, he was spending the night against her wishes. She tried to get to the door several times before every time she even came close, he would wake up and stop her. She pleaded for him to let us go, that she had to go to the doctor but he didn't listen and kept us trapped there for the night. I remember hiding under the table and crying, praying for someone to save us, specifically my mom's mom. My beloved grandmother. We made it through that night okay, but it's a memory that still haunts me because I rarely see my mom being reduced to such a state. Now onto this story, because even after all these years, I still don't know what led up to it. My memory begins with me standing in the middle of my dad's apartment. I was about 3 or 4, and I was alone. By this time my mom and dad were living separately and they shared custody with one another, this must have been my dad's turn to watch me because my mom never stayed over at his home. But for some reason, I was alone. My dad lived with his mom and uncle, people I'm not entirely fond of or bonded with, but they weren't there that day either. He was nowhere to be seen but he must have told me to stay put because I didn't move from my spot. It was still day out but all the lights were off in the apartment. Not even the television was on. There were plenty of seats to sit on but for some reason I didn't move, I just stood there, watching the door and waiting for something to happen. I stood there for what seemed like hours, I didn't hear anything or see anyone. I can't tell you how frightening such a feeling is, and when you're that young, time seems like forever. What could I have done? My dad and his family were the only ones with the keys and I was far too small to reach the door or even call for help. In my mind someone had to come to get me, but who? I remember feeling scared that my dad would come back but I don't know why. I wanted my mom, I wanted my grandma, I wanted someone to find me and take me away from that scary place. Strangely enough I didn't cry, nor did I even react. I just stood there, almost as if I was waiting for instructions. Just when all hope seemed lost, the door suddenly opened. The daylight flooded the room as my mom finally revealed herself. She looked worried, something I was not accustomed to. She was still wearing her work uniform and carrying her work bags as well. The first thing she did when she entered the apartment was hug me. She literally fell to her knees and gave me the biggest hug she could muster. Thank goodness. 
That was all she kept saying to herself as she met close to her. I remember feeling so happy in that moment, like everything was going to be okay because my mom was here. Everything felt right again. And that's where my memory of the incident ends. I've never really talked about it with my mom or dad, and more so for obvious reasons. I don't like bringing up such topics to my mom because I know she's already been through enough as it is concerning him. However, I did get an interesting part of the story later on in life. My mom's mom, my favorite and only grandmother, knew to an extent about the truth about my dad, but only to a certain extent. I brought up this incident to her one day, although I can't remember the precise context of the conversation we were having. Whatever the case, I told her about the memory and it was then that she revealed something disturbing about that day. Apparently my mom was scheduled to pick me up after work, her normal routine since I lived with her full time, and just visited my dad whenever it was his turn. However, what I didn't know was that my dad had told my mom that he was planning on visiting a friend who lived in the same apartment complex as him, not a lie, he's lived there for years and still lives there. He practically knows all the old timers there. He said he was going to take me with him as well, something my mom didn't like but she allowed it. She knew the person too but wasn't as friendly with them as my dad was. So when the time came for my mom to pick me up, she went to the friend's apartment and knocked. But imagine her surprise and worry when no one answered. Keep in mind this was before cell phones were a thing so she couldn't just call them. After minutes of knocking and calling to the friend and my dad, no one answered. My grandma says that she continued with this for about an hour, getting more hysterical as time went on. Before anyone asks, these particular apartments are duplexes and have a decent amount of separation between them and other duplexes. So it's not surprising that no one heard my mom or really cared enough to ask her what was going on. But nothing changed. That is until my dad suddenly came out from his hiding place, apparently he had been spying on my mom from a distance, he had been watching her the entire time. He allowed for her to go through that torment just because he had gotten mad with her for some petty reason. My grandma can't even remember what the reason was, but the fact that my dad went through all that and out my mom and me through that torture just so he could feel empowered just goes to show you what kind of a person he is. In the end my dad walked my mom back to his apartment and confessed that his friend was never there, still at work apparently. And that I had been in his apartment the entire time. He unlocked the door and my mom and I were finally reunited. And you all know the rest. So yeah, I got the truth many years later. My grandma confirmed what I had feared, that my dad left me alone. Only it wasn't for the reason I thought it would have been for, it was all just to teach my mom a lesson. It's one of the many reasons I didn't feel comfortable around him for a long time and why I believe my mom and her family whenever they tell me stories about him. I hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more real life creepy encounters around the world. See you in the next video. Bye.